Isabel, and we're delighted to have with us tonight Tucson Police Chief Roberto Villasenor. Chief, have you gotten, um, well, first of all, tell us about this hit, the dogs hit near the home or in the home? Uh, I'm sorry, we seem to be having some difficulty did, with uh, the the dogs couldn't hit, quite hear the question. Did the dogs hit near the home or inside the home, Chief? Actually, we have the dog searching in both areas, around the home, approaching the home, and then inside the home as well. Um, we don't want to talk too much because of investigative purposes as to what the dog hit on or where, but they did alert on items which caused us to have some need to re-secure the house and take our investigators back into the residence uh, once we obtain a warrant so they can do further investigation. Now, did you get a warrant for that house because the family didn't voluntarily allow you inside, or did they say, oh, you could go in and check whatever you want in the home? No, the family has been cooperating with us, and they understand, but really for these type of cases and complexity, it's always safer to err on the side of caution. There was no greater need for exigency. When we first arrived at the scene, we did a very thorough processing of the house. However, we didn't have the availability of these specialized canines from the FBI. When they were flown in and they did alert on some things, then that caused us to want to go back in and just to right. make sure in case we do find anything of evidentiary value there is protected, we obtained the warrant just to make sure everything is done correctly. Yeah. Now, you've said that you've done a door-to-door -door search within a two-and-a-half or three-mile radius of uh, Isabel's home. This reminds me of the Jessica Lunsford tragedy. 2005 registered sex offender John Cooey went into Jessica's home through an unlocked door, kidnapped her, and uh, held her captive for two days in a trailer about 100 yards away from that home before uh, murdering her tragically uh, after uh, sexually assaulting her. Sir, uh, Chief, when you go and canvass these homes, do you go inside and look in the closets? Because one of the controversies in the Cooey case, this is the guy who uh, kidnapped and killed Jessica Lunsford, they never went into that closet. They knocked on the door, and the child was believed to be inside there when police visited that trailer. Correct, and, and it's stories like that that we keep in mind when we conduct our search. For that reason, what we've instructed our officers to do is to explain to people when they contact them at the residence what they're there for, the tragedy that we're investigating, and the request for cooperation from the residents. We've received but do you go in and open the closet store? The look around. Oh, so they do let you in to look around, and you've looked around yes, in um, closets. You've opened closets. Yes, our officers go in there, and they look in the rooms, and they look in the, in the house to make sure there's nothing there we need to be concerned of.